Check it out, dudes. We are back at the dam. What is up, dudes? And welcome back to another exciting episode of Fishing More Outdoors. As you can see from behind me, we're fishing today. It's been a long time since I went fishing. Nice cast. Woo! I'm with my buddy, Call Me Charisma, or I'm with my buddy Morgan, also known as Call Me Charisma. And, uh, you tell him I live with you? No. Anyways, dudes, we're at the local power plant and we're gonna be trying to, I left the carp stuff at home today, so we're more so gonna be targeting like, hopefully walleyes, it's fall season now, so the walleyes could definitely be up here, but probably gonna be mainly targeting like small mouth and stuff, bite. so. Get a bite? Or a rock. He's lying, he didn't have a bite. He don't even know. Anyways, stay tuned guys. I'm gonna strap on the chesty and let's try to catch a fish. All right, dudes. We're going to be starting out right here. You guys know, this is like my favorite bait for this dam. Just a six cents divine swim bait. And I'm just gonna be tossing this on like a quarter ounce jig. But I'm gonna rig this up quick. Let's get to fishing. All right, so since Rizzle Nuts is fishing right there, I'm gonna go over here. Man, I like this current. I like what the current's doing right now. Really good current, not too fast, not too slow. There's a nice little seam right here. I might catch a walleye. Oh my God, no way. I just got hit right here, I'm pretty sure. That totally felt like a bite. Holy cats. I'm gonna catch a fish, dudes, 100%. I'm gonna catch a good one. I'm gonna show you how, cause. Yes, show me how. Give a man a fish, he'll eat that day. Well, I'm guessing I know how. It's Teach a man to fish. You, but you and Soviet put stuff on weird, okay? No, we don't. So you just go like, this is the bottom, like this? No, nope, the other way. See? That? You want the tail pointed the opposite way as the hook, so turn it around. Yep, just like that. And, and just this... thread it on pretty. Make it pretty. It's got salt on it, dude, I'm hungry. Yeah. Cast it right over you. Got one. Yeah, right. Yeah. Got one. It's feeling like a walleye. Not gonna lie. If it's a walleye, we're gonna take it home and eat it. Wouldn't that be cool? My GoPro on. Wait, you just drag this like over you, the rocks? You just kind of pop it towards you. Oh, it's a smallmouth. I lost it too. Hey, there's fish here, bud. You just kind of pop it on bottom, you know? Or just like reel it in slow. Well, I just don't want to get stuck on the rocks, but. No, I know. If you don't really want to be just like pounding bottom. Oh, what was that? God damn it. <laughs> Burst cast, dude. I need to pretty hard. I'm sorry. You got it? Yeah. How, oh, dude? Once you hit bottom, just kind of start reeling. You don't really want oh. it to hit bottom. Or you know what I mean? As soon as you hit bottom. So we're not like bouncing Here, I'm going to show the, you. Here, I'm, I'll show we're you. We're not bouncing out the bottom. I'm going to show you. Yeah, okay. This is what I do. It's a lot of line watching, kind of. This is good for you guys at home, too. This is how I fish at my local power plant. So I'm going to cast out. Okay, I'm going to watch my line. As soon as it hits bottom, you're going to see your line stop, right? So watch this. It just hit bottom. I'm gonna reel it a couple. Boom, just hit bottom. Reel it a couple. Shut I, up. I'm not kidding, Give me dude. A pull, I'm then. not kidding you. So you see that? You hit bottom, reel a couple. Let it hit bottom. It hit bottom, reel a couple. That's what you do, all right? Easy. Easy. Oh my God, no way. Yo, Riz, cast it like really far in all that current. All those current seams, that's where like walleyes and smalleyes where they like to hang out. Okay, same cast. Looks, per looks pretty good. Dang. Oh, right here. <laughs> Baby Smalley on the reel up. <laughs> we didn't get skunked, boy. Heck yeah. We're gonna catch more, but 
Good way to start it, little small mouth. But, oh, I almost dropped him. We got him in the water. All right, let's catch another one. Send it. Got one. You got one? Let's go. Let's go, baby. Oh, it's better than mine, too. Oh. Jesus. Dang it. I thought it was a rock, so I didn't even set it. Damn it. Oh, I got it. Watch this, dudes. I'm just going to pitch it out here. I just missed one like three times. Oh, that was a good one, dude. That was a better bite. Yeah, I'm going to shorten this up a little bit. I'm going to I'm gonna go up there and take a scissors and just shorten it up just a little bit. All right, dudes, I just took off that same plastic. I'm just going to cut about that much off so that it's just a little bit smaller. And uh, these fish will hopefully stop short biting me now. I wonder if I can cast in this dude's boat. <laughs> Pretty close. <laughs> you see that? That was close. <laughs> oh. oh my god, dude. That, that was scary. <laughs> that guy scared all of our fish. I'm gonna go over to that platform. Alright, dude, stay tuned. I am, uh, I'm gonna go over there. I haven't had a bite in a while. You coming? Shut up. I, help me get off this rock. Riz is snagged. Poor Riz. I thought it was a monster. I'm sure you did. All right, dudes, the current is actually pretty strong right here, but we're gonna try it anyways. See if we can't get nothing, get any fish. Anywhere? How do I do it the same way? Yeah. There's less snags here. Oh, I got one. First cast. Walleye? Dude, it feels big. It feels big. Nice walleye. Oh my god. Nice walleye. Nice Go down there. Holy shit. Dude. dude, nice walleye first cast. Yeah. Look at this, dudes. We're eating him. Get him, Reds, get him. No, just grab him. Dude, perfect eater, bro. Grab him by the gills. Yeah, buddy! <laughs> Dude, that's awesome! Dude, that's a freaking awesome eater. Oh, oh look at that, God. dudes. Dinner? Dinner, buddy. <laughs> little catch and cook action. Yes, guys. <laughs> All right. Uh, Holy balls. First cast? First cast, bro. And he popped it. That was awesome. That's one of the biggest walleyes I've ever seen. Honestly. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't that's like you. a that's like a perfect eater, probably 18 incher, 17 incher. I want to make a little stringer quick, and then uh, we'll get back to fishing. All right, dude. So I got myself some 22 pound fluorocarbon. I'm just going to kind of try to thread this up through this fish's gill. Here we go. And I'm just going to tie a little knot. There we go. We got a little knot tied. Oh wait, this is yours. And I'm just gonna toss it in the water. God, that's a nice fish down there, dude. And then Good I'm gonna work. then I'm gonna tie it to this pole. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. We're eating that sucker. I haven't had walleye in a while. All right, dudes, let's try to catch another one. The old six cents paddle tail did it, boys. Let's go. Did I count in first cast? And then nothing? Weird. Yeah, it's really weird. All right, dudes, I think that's all she wrote. Unfortunately, we only got one walleye, but we did basically get two smallies too. That's crazy though. First first cast and I got a walleye. I thought I was definitely thought I was gonna catch a couple more, but yeah, we're gonna go back to my house. I don't think Riz has had much walleye in his life, so. We're gonna go cook it up and have, a, have ourselves a little catch and cook. Welcome back, dudes. I'm not gonna get copyrighted, well, anyway. Should we be quiet? <laughs> Shit! 
Unless you want to show just like seven seconds of that heater we made earlier today. We gotta to start it right here. Alright, that's it. Fire. Riz lives here, by the way, now. In case any of you guys didn't know that. But anyways, dudes, welcome back. We are back at the Fish and More headquarters and uh, huge shout out to the litter bug down at the dam. Someone left a minnow bag and we repurposed it for the, the walleye, but I'm gonna throw this on the tripod. We get to play in this walleye. All right, dudes, I'm gonna grab this walleye. I'm gonna make this kind of quick. Uh, you guys have all seen me kind of show you guys how to clean a walleye, so I'm not gonna go too in depth on it. Just gonna go under these two fins with my electric flay knife, make an incision about halfway down, flip it over, go to the bone, and now I'm just gonna run this all the way down its spine. Ooh, that's a big girl. It's a nice walleye, dude. It's gonna be delicious. Flip it over. Go like this. Same thing, just run it all the way down its spine. Now I just gotta take off this silver skin and uh, these little bones in right here. Do the same to this one. Perfect. I'm just gonna take the skin off. And look at that, dudes. Perfect little walleye. <laughs> little walleye. Perfect little walleye flay. And I ain't gonna chunk them up. I gotta do this one still, but I'm just gonna leave uh, two whole flays because I'm gonna have a flay and then Riz is gonna have a flay. Once again, perfect little flay. And then there are some bones right here. I'm just gonna take my knife and get those out quick too. All right, there we go. We got two delicious little walleye flays. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this mess. I'm gonna get some grease in the pan and then uh, we're gonna soak these things and start cooking them. Breaking out the big pan today. For oil today, dudes, we're just using Crisco pure vegetable oil. And today, I have, I've never used this, but we're using Legendary Northwoods Pan Fish Light Complete Breading Mix. I'm gonna open it up and see how it smells. Uh, if it doesn't smell as good as I want it to, I might add a few things. Mm, it honestly kinda, it smells kinda good, but I definitely think I am gonna add some things too. I think on top of this, I'm also gonna add some Traeger's Fin and Feather. Uh, it's a garlic and paprika rub. I think this will be good on it. But I'm gonna go ahead, just dump this all over it. All right, I'm just gonna kinda, just kinda flip this around a bunch. Now that I got it pretty much full of batter, I'm gonna take the Fin and Feather and just add that too. If I try to rub it in there a little bit. Anyways, dudes, we just have to wait for this grease to heat up and then uh, be frying in no time. All right, this should just about, oh yeah. That's ready. Ready to rock. Putting in the flays. These are gonna be so good. Here's my fork. I also got some cheddar rice right here just from leftovers from yesterday. I think it'll go pretty good with the walleye. I'm just gonna toss it in the microwave. Yeah. Here's a little life hack. If you guys ever run out of paper towels and you need to and, and you need to like get the grease off your fish when you're done cooking them, coffee filters work just as good. All right. I'm thinking these are pretty much ready. Oh yeah, these suckers are done. They look freaking good too. Shoreline? No. Shore brunch? It's, it's pronounced char lunch, but it's not char lunch. They ran out. Dude, I haven't had walleye in a while, dude. All right, let's see for ourselves how fire it actually is. The fire. It's really good. Mmm. It's good with that 
really good with that cheddar rice too. It goes together really good. I definitely do like shore lunch better. Just because I always get uh, I always get shore lunch Cajun. That's like hands down. That's like my go-to. Just because I like spicy spicy fish. It's pretty good. I've definitely had a lot worse. It's also really cool because we were 100% not planning on doing a catch and cook today. I was I'm pretty surprised we caught a walleye. So this still turned out pretty cool. You really think it's that good, huh? Oh, it's crispy, I like it. Yeah, it's crispy, but. Are you saying like the flavors? Is yeah, it's just like not as flavorful. I'm still gonna pound my whole filet, but yeah, I think we're gonna end this video here, dudes. Kind of an unexpected one today. I was totally not expecting to do catch and cook, but I'm pumped we made it happen. I didn't even know we were gonna go fishing. Yeah, I know. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys could, like this video, share this video, smash that subscribe button if you enjoyed it. And yeah, uh, next video, we're definitely probably going to be doing some goose hunting, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, I guess all I have to say. Oh, go subscribe. Go subscribe to Morgan. He's a musician. You guys like music. All right, go to bed. Bye, guys. <laughs>